Hi everyone, here's a quick tip on how many songs you should be learning at the same time. The best thing to do is to try and focus on the smallest number at the same time so you're not diluting your attention. So the ideal would probably be just to focus on one song, especially when you're at the very start of the course. So learning Amazing Grace on its own would be probably the, the ideal. Now, the time when you might want to learn more than one at the same time is, say, if you're getting really bored, because um, it's better to be alert and engaged and having fun. You'll learn faster that way. So if you find that you need to add in a second song to keep the interest alive, then okay, that's fine, fine to do. I wouldn't recommend spreading yourself too thin. So if you're learning five or six songs at the same time, you're probably not going to learn as quickly as if you focus on a smaller number. So in terms of what songs to learn, again, I've structured the course in a way that if you follow it in sequence, that's probably the ideal way. But again, it's all about having fun. So if you absolutely can't stand a particular song, then that's fine to skip that one and just choose a different song from the list. Once you have learnt the skills, for example, in the beginner masterclass skills, and you can play the chords, play the melody, then there are several songs in the song sheet section. So that's, at that stage, then it's fine just to browse any of those songs and pick any song which appeals to you. Later on in the piano bundle, there's a wider selection of songs, and it also shows you then how to go and get any other song from the internet and play it in either the numbers method, so you can convert it across into numbers, or it also then shows you how to play by the guitar chords method that is found in other chord sheets and song sheets on the internet. So that's further down the line in the piano course. So I hope that, um, that helps and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.